Hey everyone, welcome to Iron Yoga. My name is Danielle and I'm excited to be here. So today, um, what you're gonna need for your workout is a yoga mat and then two light to medium weights that can be anywhere between three to 10 pounds depending on your fitness and ability level. Uh, we'll be flowing through some um, kind of gentle vinyasa style yoga poses and then incorporating a little bit of weight work. But as always, since this is a yoga class, I uh, invite you to focus on the breath, focus on relaxation, and um, that's how we'll begin our practice for today. So when you are ready, go ahead and roll out your yoga mat. We'll get started. So find your way over to your yoga mat, and I'm just going to invite you to go ahead and um, come to a comfortable seat today. Sometimes we start our practice standing, sometimes we start it from a seated position, but regardless, we always like to take just a few moments to check in and focus on our breathing. So what I'm gonna ask you to do now is maybe set aside any distractions, maybe uh, turning down the ringer of your phone, or if you enjoy listening to music during your yoga practice, then you can put a little soft music in the background whatever makes you feel more relaxed and present. We're gonna take a few moments and maybe gently close the eyes if that feels right for you or soften your gaze. And we're just gonna take a few deep breaths. So when you're ready, you can breathe in through your nose and exhale out through the nose or mouth. And we'll do this just a few times. Breathing in and out. I just invite you to take a minute to set aside this time. As you focus on your breathing and just taking a few deep breaths, think about setting aside the time for your yoga practice, letting the breath slow down, knowing that whatever you need to do can wait for this next while. Take just one or two more nice deep breaths. Breathing in and out, just remember to keep that focus and intention on the breath and do what is right for you with our postures, with our weights, with the whole practice for today. When you are ready on an exhale, we'll just start to slowly open the eyes. Good. And from our seated position, we'll take just a few moments to add a little gentle movement. We're gonna be making our way to hands and knees in a moment. But I just invite you to go ahead and maybe roll your shoulders up, back, and down. While there's no pressure on the upper body, on the hands, the wrists, this is a great opportunity to relax that upper body. Notice and check in with how your head and neck are doing today. Maybe moving the head a little from side to side. With these shoulder rolls, if it feels right for you, we're going to make them a little bit bigger. So gently circling. Again, at a speed that's right for you, I want you to start to notice how your spine is doing today. So maybe feeling any areas that are tight in your spine. Good. Just notice moment to moment, we can feel more relaxed and calm or more tight or more anxious, no matter what. Just notice and observe for today and it's okay. All right, next time you bring those arms down, I'm gonna invite you to sit up nice and tall for me and we'll take a gentle spinal twist. Good, just starting to wake up the spine. We'll go into the other side. Great. All right, from here, let's come back to center. And I want you to arch the spine forward for a little seated cat and cow here. So you can open that chest and then carve the spine down. 
pulling in the abs. So we're going into that nice C-shaped curve with our spine. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. And then we'll do that one more time, arch one way. Big inhale and exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest and curve the spine in. And then coming back to a nice neutral spine, I'm going to invite you now to make your way to a tabletop position to our hands and knees. You can always have a little cushion, a little folded towel under the knees if that helps facilitate your comfort. Also, if you have any wrist challenges or any pain in the wrist, you can make little fists with the hands. Always take care of you. All right, let's go into cat and cow from our hands and knees. So we'll take a big inhale, arch. Spreading, opening those shoulder blades. And then exhale, lower. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, arch. And exhale, lower. Good. Let's come to a nice neutral spine. From here, we're gonna try a little bit of lateral flexion going side to side. So I want you to think about your right ear coming towards your right hip, and then you're gonna go the other way. So side to side, and I'll show you from the front too. It's kind of like you're crunching into that side body. Taking nice, smooth, even breaths as you stretch that spine. Good. We'll do a couple more here. Reaching one way and then the other. Great. All right, let's go ahead and come back to that nice neutral spine. Now we're gonna wake up our hips a little bit before we start to come up to start our first sun salutations for today. I want you to take your right knee out to the side, kind of like a dog at the fire hydrant, and we're gonna draw a circle with that knee. So I'll show you again from the side. Here we go, drawing a circle. There you go. Getting into that hip a little bit. You can take whatever direction you'd like with your circle. And then next time you circle around, go ahead and when it feels right for you, kick that leg out behind you and just take a minute, maybe circling the ankle, pointing and flexing your foot. We're gonna take a lovely calf stretch here. So let's go ahead, keep that leg straight, tuck your toes and uh, place them on the mat so you get a stretch for the back of the leg for our calf. Good, breathe in. We're gonna go into a nice modified side plank here. So from here, we're gonna take a big inhale and lift our right arm up. So same arm as legs, gonna reach up. That left leg is just like a little kickstand behind you. Good. Reaching up, take, a uh, take this opportunity to wiggle your fingers, circle your wrists. Awesome. And then we're just gonna do this on the other side. So come back to all fours and just straighten yourself up. And then let's take that left knee out to the side and begin this process on this side. Circle around. Just remember to breathe nice, smooth, even breath. I always like to show all different kinds of versions of poses, modifications. So if you have any wrist issues, you wanna come down to forearms, that's fine. Good. All right. And then when you're ready, kick that foot out behind you. Circle the ankle, point and flex that toe. Great. And we'll take our calf stretch on this side as well. So when you're ready, gently place that toe down, straighten that leg, start to feel that stretch in the back of your calf. And let's go into that modified side plank to the other side. So right foot comes out like a little kickstand, left hand reaches up towards our ceiling, wiggle the fingers, good. All right, let's go ahead and slowly, slowly take your time, start to come to hands and knees, open your knees wide, stretch your fingertips forward and come into your child's pose. 
Good, you can rest your forehead down on the mat if you like. I tend to keep my head up just so you can hear me better, but down is good. Take a big breath in and out. Good. All right, we're gonna start to add a little more movement now, starting to make our way to our downward facing dog pose. So when you're ready, you can come on in. We're gonna come into downward dog. Remember that you can always come to hands and knees. You can come to child's pose if you prefer. All right, so we come into downward dog, pedal out those feet. Maybe drop one heel and then the other. Little locks here, if that feels good for your body. Good. Pull those abs in. You want to try to look towards your belly button. Again, I face my face <laughs> closer to the screen because it's easier to hear me that way. All right, so we're gonna do just a little bit of flowing through some basic sun salutations. So let's lift our hips high. And then I'm gonna invite you in your own time to step your feet towards your hands and come to the top of the mat. From here, we're just gonna take a moment and let the body relax forward into kind of a ragdoll pose. I'll show from the front. So you can let the body just kind of hang here. If you want, you can hold on to your elbows or your wrists. Just let gravity start to stretch things out a bit for you. Good, all right. So we're gonna slowly this first time, take your feet so they're about hip width apart, slowly round through the spine to come up to standing. And just take a minute, maybe roll your shoulders back a few times, releasing any tension you might have there. And then from here, we're gonna start um, with our upward tree pose. So feet hip width apart, take a big inhale, bring your arms above the head and then form your fingers together, index fingers touching, gentle back bend here. And then lean to one side, side bend. And exhale, bend to the other side. Good. From here, let's swan dive, folding the body forward. So take your time, you can plant your feet, or I'm sorry, your hands down by your feet on the mat or on the shins. We're going to take our hands to shins, arch up halfway. Exhale, lower. Step your right leg back into a lunge. We're only gonna hold this for a moment. Take your left leg back and let's find our plank position, the top of a push-up. Remember too, you can always come down to the forearms or knees here. Let's go ahead and lower all the way down to our belly. And inhale, take a back bend here. Again, you can always modify by coming down lower. All right, let's go ahead and lift our hips, find your downward dog. And once more, if you'd like, you can pedal out those feet. Starting to warm up your legs. Good, big inhale. And now exhale, we're gonna step, right leg forward, left leg forward, coming to standing forward bend. And when you're ready, nice big inhale, brings you up. Good, and hands to heart center. Let's repeat this to the left side. Big inhale, we'll bring you up. Back bend, lean to one side. And the other. So we're just kind of going at a medium speed today. You can always go a little quicker or slower. Pull the body forward. Maybe take a big inhale here. Come up halfway. Exhale, lower. When you're ready, big inhale, steps left foot back. And then right foot back, finding your plank pose, that top of the push up. You can always use your feet to help kind of press the hips front and back, making sure that those hips are in alignment with the top of your head. Let's go ahead and lower down. Inhale, lift, back bend. Exhale, lower, let's find our downward facing dog pose. And pedal out those feet. Good. All right, let's keep moving. We'll go ahead, big inhale, exhale, step left foot forward, right foot forward. And let's come on up. Good, hands to heart center, take your time. And then let's do this again. Here we go, big inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step right leg back. Exhale, left foot back. Again, going into your speed. 
Find your plank pose and lower when you're ready. Hands wide like a starfish, lift the chest for your upward facing dog pose. Exhale. Make your way to downward facing dog pose, pedaling out those feet. Good. When you're ready, step your right leg forward, left foot forward. Big inhale, come on up. Hands to heart center. All right, last time. Big inhale brings you up. Lean to one side. Lean to the other side. And let's begin that forward fold. Float the body down. Inhale, hands to shins. Look up. Exhale, lower. Step your left leg back. Step your right leg back. Find your plank pose. Good. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the chest. Halfway lift. And lower. Find your downward dog. Pedal out those feet. We're going to take an extra stretch this time in downward dog. I'm going to invite you to take your right leg towards the ceiling. Now, this can go wherever's good for you. It can stay low or it can come high. You're going to bend the knee. Allow that hip to open towards your ceiling. Three-legged dog pose. Nice little hip stretch. Let's try that on the other side. We're going to take left leg up. And remember, if nothing, if this doesn't work for you, don't do it. Or you can do three-legged dog from having a tabletop position, okay? All right. Let's go ahead, bring the foot down. And from here, let's go ahead and step our left foot forward, right foot forward. Let's take a chest opener before we come up. Hands behind the back, thread the fingers together. You can hold on to one wrist or elbows as well. Lift the arms up. And now this time, big inhale, swooping up. And bring your hands to heart center. Good, drop your shoulders down, relax those shoulders. I'm gonna face you now. Just let your arms hang down for just a moment. Good. All right. So we're gonna do um, just a little bit of weight work down on the mat for just a minute, and then we're gonna do some standing weights as well. So what I'm gonna do is invite you to come back down to the all fours position for pretty much the last time for today. So we're gonna come down whichever way you'd like. I just like to kind of fold myself down and make my way there. And then if you'd like to use weights today, I would invite you at this point to pick up your lighter weight. Um, I'm gonna be using, as I mentioned, five pounds. So what we're gonna do is we're going to balance here and uh, use a weight. So we're gonna start, just keep one weight handy. You're gonna start by kicking back your right leg behind you. From here, you're gonna hold your weight in your left hand and you're gonna balance out in front. So. Go ahead and see if this works for you before we start moving with it. So we want to keep our abs engaged. So from here, we're going to be bringing elbow and knee together and then kicking out. So go ahead and see. You can always do it without the weight, pulling in and out. So we'll go ahead, we'll pull in, take a nice big breath in, and then exhale, reach out. So let's give this a try. Let's do 10. We'll do nine more repetitions here. Nine, eight, seven. Make sure you're breathing nice and controlled. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You can set that weight down for a moment. You can bring that leg down. Maybe take a moment and stretch in child's pose. We're going to do it on the other arm, other leg here in a moment. So let's go ahead and stretch it back. And then slowly start to come up. You can still work with that same one uh, weight. Bring it in your right hand. Square yourself off. Nice tabletop so your arms and legs are right underneath of your shoulders. Kick your left leg back. Hold your weight in your right hand and find your balance here. Good. 
All right, from here, we're gonna take elbow and knee in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, try to keep the abs engaged, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and set that weight off to the side just for a moment, and we'll stretch it back. We're gonna do just a little bit more working with yoga style mountain climbers before we come up and do more with weights. So let's go ahead and we stretch it back in child's pose. And then I'm gonna invite you one last time to find your plank position. Good, at the top of that push up. From here, nice and slow, we're gonna take the knee to the chest, thinking about scooping in those abs, and then other knee to chest. So just alternating, little walks here. Good. So give it a try. Get started when you're ready. And then I'll count us down. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, back to that plank, nice and strong. And then from here, just to work our strength just a little more, I invite you to come into side plank with me. Left hand is in the middle of the mat. Reach up with right hand. Modification for this is take that left knee down to the mat. Good, breathe. Nice and strong. All right, let's come through plank. Other side, right hand in the middle of the mat. Pivot around on the side edge of that right foot. And reach up. Good, slowly start to come back to center. All the way back and let's lower down to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale. Let's come into hands and knees, child pose. Good. And start to make your way back up to standing. So we'll get off those knees for a little bit. Good. All right, and just take a moment, shake out your hands if you feel any tension in those wrists, maybe circle through the wrists. So we're gonna do a little bit more with weights now. And if you do have a heavier weight, I would invite you to maybe play around with that. Again, though, within that three to eight pound range is completely fine. So we're gonna be doing a few movements that you've seen many times in fitness. The first one's gonna be our bicep curls. However, we're gonna add a little bit of a um, leg conditioning and balance component. We're gonna be doing alternating lunges. So um, the biceps will just be straight up to the shoulder and down, nice and slow and controlled. Our legs are gonna be lunging forward with one foot, bringing our knee up, pushing off with that other foot. So you can always choose to just do one move at a time or try both. So here's what they look like together. You wanna make sure that you keep the legs like they're in a little track straight up front. I almost tap that back knee down as I curl. So we come curl and up. Okay, let's try to do 15 repetitions. You can choose to just do biceps, just do lunges, or both. Here we go, I'm gonna show from the side. 15 starting with whichever leg you would like. 15, 14, take your time standing tall, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, relax those shoulders. 
take a moment. You can always feel free to, if you're thirsty, grab a drink of water. I'll demonstrate what is next. So next we're gonna be doing lunges side to side. And I'll show without weights first. So these are squat type lunges. We're gonna take our feet stepping out, right and left, feet a little wider than hip width apart, toes facing forward. We're gonna squat down and bring it back in. Other side, down and in. So we're gonna have our weights and we're gonna do an overhead press. So we squat down, press up, down. Yeah, our palms face forward, squat down, down, together, down, together. All right, so we'll do 15 of those. Again, you can just focus on the press, focus on the squats, or do both. Ready, here we go. Start it whichever way you're ready. I'm gonna stand behind my mat so I have a little more room. Here we go, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, make sure you're breathing, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Good, good job. Relax those shoulders, that looked great. Okay, so now we're gonna try a movement where we don't use our legs, we're more stationary, but we're gonna try, in yoga sometimes it's called horse pose or sumo squat. We're gonna step wide with our stance, have your toes facing outward slightly, Bring your weight, you can hold on to one weight or two, elbows out. We're gonna bend the knees, tuck that seat under, working our quads here. Pull in your abs and we're just gonna twist from side to side. Slow and mindfully, working that core, stretching that back. We're gonna just do 15 twists. Here we go, 15, 14, 13, 12, so you don't have to go super fast. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. All right. From here, keep your weights handy. We're gonna go right into, we're gonna be working with uh, warrior two standing on the mat and we're just gonna do biceps one more time. So I'm gonna invite you to turn your toes out on one side, it does not matter which one, we'll do it two times. Bend that front knee of the side you turn the toes out, other toes slightly facing forward, 45 degree angle. We're gonna take and focus our gaze over that bent knee, arms up, and now I want you to flip your palms from here. You can incorporate legs. So we're gonna straighten the front leg, bicep curl back down. Or if you wanna just keep it low, focus on biceps. They come straight up to the shoulders and out. Let's do 15 reps and then we'll just switch legs. Here we go. Bend the knee up, 15, 14, 13, 12. Try to keep those arms straight. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, we're breathing, 3, 2, and 1. Nicely done. All right, let's just switch our feet. So now we're gonna turn our other toes out, other foot in, bend your front knee. You should have a comfortable stance, your hips facing the side of your mat. Come out to your arms straight. Flip your palms towards our ceiling. Here we go, last 15. Lift up, 15. 14. So we get this bicep work, 13, 
Also a bit of a stretch and work for the lower body. 12, 11, 10, you can do it, 9, 8, hang in there, 7, 6, 5, 4, we're going to stretch after this, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Let's go ahead, keep your wide stance, but turn both toes forward. Allow the body to fold forward for a moment. Go ahead and just let the body stretch. Good. We're almost done with our weights. We're gonna do just two last exercises here, and then we're gonna stretch it out and start to come down to the mat. So go ahead, let the body fold forward. Just stretch out your back, stretch out the backs of those legs. Release any tension you might be holding onto. Let's go ahead and pick up our weights again. And now you can just continue to face uh, me, to face the screen. You're gonna bring your feet about hip width apart. So bring them in slightly. I want you to bend your knees. Let the body come forward here. Have your palms facing together. And then from here, we're just gonna row straight up. So you're gonna keep the elbows in, pull up to your chest and down, yeah? We keep our tummy muscles in and we pull and down. So let's do 15 rows. Here we go. 15, 14, breathing, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Good, all right, keep this stance. You're slightly bent over, abs are engaged. And we're gonna do our last arm exercise. We're gonna do a vertical fly. So this one is pretty tricky. You wanna reach up right by the shoulders and down with control. All right, here we go, 15, 14, 13, Nice and slow, 12, make sure you're breathing, 11, stay focused on the move, 10, nine, eight, seven, you got this, six, five, four, last three, two, and one. Awesome job. Go ahead and let the body fold forward. Set your weight out of the way. And let's just take that wide leg standing forward bend again. Let the body hang. We're gonna take a little twist here. So come to that wide stance, both hands to your right ankle. Lift your left arm up, little twist. And let's try that other way. Both hands to your left ankle, left hand up. Little twist. Good. Let's come to center, stretch. We're gonna take just a few nice stretches now before we come down to seated. So let's go ahead and walk your hands over to one leg and I want you to turn out that foot and bend the knee. So we're gonna come into a runner's lunge to the side. Good, and you can have your hands down here, hands up here. Hands to heart center, it is up to you. Let's go ahead and switch sides. One knee bends, the other leg straightens. Good. Let's come back to center, one final fold here in our wide leg standing forward bend. Good. And then I'm gonna invite you to come down to seated with legs out in front. So you can move your equipment if you'd like. I'm gonna face you for now, but you can, you know, sit in a way, the way your mat is configured. Good. So we're gonna bring our legs out in front, flex your foot, and then I want you to bring your right leg in towards the inner thigh. Place the foot on the inner thigh, sit up nice and tall, and then slowly start to walk your hands on either side of that left foot. 
if you'd like, you can hold on to the foot, or maybe if your calves are tight, you can use a strap here. Just let that low back release. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Good. Slowly come up. And that same uh, knee that is up, we're gonna take it vertical. Take your left arm around that right knee and twist to your right. So just over that. Take this opportunity to connect with your breathing again. Just to connect with the physical sensations of the body as you exercise and flow through your postures. Let's go ahead, slowly unwind, and we'll just switch sides. So when you're ready, both legs out in front, you can move them, let them be relaxed. And then left foot in the right inner thigh, start to come forward when you're ready. Notice how this side might be different than the other. Take a big inhale and exhale, letting it go. Any tension or stress. Good, take one more breath. And then when you're ready, there is no hurry. You can slowly start to come up, bringing that left knee into hug at the chest. Right arm around, gentle twist. Good. Take a nice big inhale and exhale, let those legs go. And now let's take soles of the feet together for our bound angle. Go ahead, we'll sit up tall and slowly fold forward, maybe reaching forward with your fingertips. Let's go ahead and slowly come up. And before we go on to our backs for Shavasana, just wanna take a moment and stretch our upper body. So we'll take our right arm in the middle of our back and take that elbow and gently pull with our left arm. Triceps. If you'd like, you can lean very gently to the side, giving a stretch in the side of the body. Big inhale brings you up and then take that same right arm across the body and pull towards you. You can wiggle the fingers. Good. And then we'll take our final side over here, left arm up. Find your tricep stretch on this side. Big inhale starts to bring you up and gently pull that arm across the body. Good. So next stop, we're gonna be going on to our backs for our Shavasana. And I'm going to invite you as we spend a few moments relaxing to perhaps set an intention for the rest of your day. How would you like the rest of your day to go? So with that in mind, you can release that upper body and make your way to relaxing on your back. Um, if you'd like, you can hug the knees to the chest or do any last few stretches your body is asking for today. And then start to make your way to relaxing on your back. Shavasana is the time of letting go. You can gently close your eyes if you wish. And just take a few deep breaths.
See if you can set your intention, your thought for the rest of the day. And take a moment to express gratitude and appreciation for taking a bit of time for yourself. Take one more big deep breath, reaping in the benefits of your practice. Exhaling it out. Good. When you are ready, I invite you to slowly start to move, wiggling fingers or toes. And moving very slowly with intention, you can start to make your way back to a comfortable seat, maybe rolling onto your side. There's no hurry. Remember that if your time allows, you can always stay in Shavasana longer. That is completely okay. We'll go ahead now and finish either in Shavasana or if you're up to seated, bring the palms together at the heart. Thank you for practicing today. I wish you a peaceful rest of your day. Thank you. Namaste.